Hello, and welcome to Face to Face, the show where I ask celebrities the tough questions and they give me the tough answers. And then afterwards, we go out for a sandwich or something. William H. Macy is a highly respected character actor. He is currently starring in the Showtime series Shameless, and before that, he was primarily known as the guy that's married to that one woman from Desperate Housewives. Join us now as we go face to face with William H. Macy. Today, we're speaking with noted actor and meteorologist, William H. Macy. I'm just the actor. Really? Oh, great, there go my meteorology questions. Anyway, welcome to the show. Kind of surprised to see you sober. Who says I'm sober? Touche, my friend. Well, I assume you did all of your assigned reading before this interview. Um, I did no research for this. Uh... Really? Well, okay, fine, but don't blame me if you wind up looking like an idiot. So, William, um, William sounds so formal. Uh, can I call you Bill? Bill Macy? How about BM? Can I, can I just call you BM? No. Okay, William H. Macy it is. Jeez. You know, I've always wondered what the H stood for. Why don't you tell us? Oh, don't make me do that. What are you? Oh, you're touchy about it. <laughs> now I really have to ask. Don't do that. I think the viewers would want to know. It's perhaps a subject we don't want to talk about. I'm just going to guess, and you tell me if I'm wrong, okay? Is it... Horn dog? Perhaps it is. Um... Ha! I knew it! Uh, well, that's a cute middle name. What's so embarrassing about that? Well, let's talk a little bit about your love of the cinema. Um, I understand that your all-time favorite movie is Jack and Jill with Adam Sandler. Um... I think it's a great film. Do you remember the first time you saw it? I was knocked out. I wept like a baby. I think it was supposed to be a comedy. I was weeping. Doesn't seem like a real weepy movie to me. I don't know what I'm doing. I start weeping. Yep. Get all weepy. Uh-huh. You weep for yourself. You weep for humanity. Okay, got it. Um, so how many times have you seen Jack and Jill? Uh, six. Six. Oh, I guess you did like it. It makes you feel so good to be a human being. Well, it was a pretty bold move on Sandler's part. I mean, he basically played himself and his sister. Two amazing performances. Yeah, and the sister comes over for Thanksgiving dinner, and she just doesn't leave. And then she goes and... I mean, I know what it's all about. Oh, right. I forgot. You've seen it six times. Um, oh, I understand that you were uh, up for a part in that movie. The role of Al Pacino which ultimately went to Al Pacino. Kind of obvious casting, if you ask me. And, and frankly, I'm sure your Al Pacino was much better. This is crazy. <laughs> I know, right? How did you react when you found out that you didn't get the part? I started weeping all over again. Man, you sure weep a lot, don't you? What could be more, a more profound part of the human experience? I don't know. Eating a bean burrito? <laughs> Seriously, other than the fact that you're apparently weeping all the time, you seem like a pretty happy guy. I'm the luckiest guy in Hollywood. No, no, that would be Ryan Seacrest. Um, since you're such a cinephile, I have to ask, what did you think about John Lovitz in City Slickers 2, The Legend of Curly's Gold? Uh, John's performance is sort of astounding. I agree. Highly underrated. So, uh, how are you liking this interview so far? I think this could be better. Well, okay, let's, uh, let's change things around. Why don't you ask me something? I mean, what's a dentist? Excellent question. A dentist is a person qualified to treat the diseases and conditions that affect the teeth and gums, including the repair and extraction of teeth and the insertion of artificial ones, if necessary. And it's tough sometimes. Yeah, very tough job, but rewarding, I'm, I'm sure. You know what, maybe we should just stick with me asking you questions. It's better. Yeah. Okay, so when you were shooting the movie Fargo, did you guys really throw somebody into the wood chipper, or was that all fake? That's a great question. 
Um, thank you. What's the answer? The, 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 is that a word? T-H-E, is that the word? The. Are, are you having a stroke right now? Uh, I get, uh, I go brain dead. Uh, okay, well just let me know if you lose feeling in your right arm or something. Um, I understand that you no longer eat lunch in the studio cafeteria. Why is that? Everybody I know wants my role. <laughs> Why don't they just buy their own roles? Bunch of Hollywood moochers, I don't blame you. So what do you do to relax after a long day on the set? Pong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, me too, I love Pong. I hang out at the Pong halls late at night, trying to, um... Hey, wait a minute. I, I, I think I saw you there once. Yeah, yeah, you were, you were hanging out with two women. They were not prostitutes. I didn't mean to imply... You know, I, I thought maybe professional escorts. And nothing wrong with that, as long as you go straight home to your wife afterwards. I rush home, hon. I do. Flicka, I come home as soon as I can. Now, you know, I've been doing this show for a long time, and nobody gives me any juicy Hollywood gossip, so come on, Macy, give me some dirt. You heard about the dumb actress. Paris Hilton? Right, um... Well, what about her? And, uh... I think that's enough. I won't give it away anymore. You... What? You didn't tell me anything! That's the worst gossip I ever heard! Come on! If you don't give me any details, I'm not gonna let you plug your new movie. But good God, we have to talk about it. <laughs> oh, I don't think we have to do anything! I... <sighs> Look, I'm... I I'm really sorry. Let's, let's just take a, a deep breath and, and settle down here. <sighs> We're both artists. We both respect each other's unique abilities. You're good at pretending like you're other people. Uh, I'm good at writing song parodies. But those are easy. I mean, an idiot can do that. What? Oh boy. I shouldn't have said that. You obviously do not respect the years of training and discipline that go into the craft of song parody writing. I am now a 7th degree black belt in song parodies. I can parody any song you can think of. Go on, test me. If you could pick any song in the world for me to parody, what would it be? It'd probably be some Eagles song, something from Desperado. Desperado, why not? Avocado what makes you think you're so holy? You're gonna be guacamole before too long. Oh, you're a green one, and you know that you're out of season. You better let somebody eat you. Let somebody eat you. You better let somebody eat you before it's too late. Perhaps you should find a different way to make a living. Okay, 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 you're, you're not a fan of the parodies. But I heard that you actually liked some of my original songs. Which one was your favorite? It's about a guy who grew up in an iron lung. Oh, Mr. Frump and the Iron Lung. <laughs> That's an oldie. All right, here we go. I visit Mr. Frump in the hospital. I see him most every day. And when I see Mr. Frump and his Iron Lung, this is what I hear him say. What's the matter now? You don't like accordion music? I absolutely know it's annoying to everyone around you. Hey man, do not diss accordion music. It's the last alternative music there is. Yeah, well, you're alternative, aren't you? <laughs> oh, and you think you're a big shot because you can act? Anyone can act! I can do Hamlet. Do one little moment. 
fine. To be or not to be, that is the question. I think that's closer to mental illness than acting. Well, it looks like we're out of time. And oh gosh, I'm sorry, but we're not going to get a chance to talk about your new movie. We just barely have enough time to mention my latest CD, Alpocalypse, the Alpocalypse HD Blu-ray, the Alpocalypse Live Tour DVD, the Essential Weird Al Yankovic, and my children's book, When I Grow Up. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and check me out on Facebook, YouTube, and of course, WeirdAl.com. <laughs> Pretty smooth, huh? It's shameless, man. <laughs> it's shameless. Well, I guess that's it then. <laughs> you made it through the entire interview. Even though you didn't do any of the homework I asked you to do. No, this didn't require any research. Still, since you were nice enough to come on the show, we'd like you to accept this bootleg DVD of Jack and Jill with our compliments. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And thank you for coming on the show. Can we do this again? No. <laughs>